Well, <coughs> the uh, bizarre circumstances of uh, Shelton. When Shelton took himself out of the game, uh, it was, you know, I just didn't know whether it was a team that good. Um, uh, it, it, it's hard to not come with all your weapons. And uh, Cody just got caught up in the moment. And uh, it's just a shame that we uh, uh, couldn't have one of, our, uh, one of our big guns down the stretch. How much did it hurt not having his inside presence? Seemed like you guys had to go, obviously, a lot smaller there. Yeah, well, they're they're real uh, guard oriented and perimeter oriented, and, and uh, you know it was hard to get cold minutes because we were when you're, if we were ahead it'd be different, but but coming from behind we have to you know go with speed and gambling and try to create some tempo, um, and you know and we just made some uncharacteristic uh, things that happen, and you know it, it, the ball bounces. The way the ball bounces sometimes, it just, uh, it just doesn't happen for you. First half seemed like some really great basketball, just back and forth, ton of lead changes. Just talk about that. Yeah, I mean, um, I was a little disappointed in, in how we handled Oldham. I thought Oldham was uh, uh, very effective in that first half. He just drove around whoever, whoever we had guarding him. Uh, but yeah, it was it was a, it was a good uh, sub-state game with uh, you know two pretty even teams, and, and they did what they had to do to uh, to prevail. Do you think he was the player that gave you the most trouble throughout the game? Or? I think so. Yeah, he just. I mean, how many did he have? He, nineteen. He had nineteen. Missed a lot of free throws. Could have had more. I'm sure, he could have. Um, but he's a slasher. He pulls up and jump shoots. He's a, he's a good athlete. And, uh, they got a lot of guys around him that are smart players, and they just took advantage of us having to scramble and, and you know, scratch and claw trying to get back in. It seemed like Will Jones had had a good game defensively on the back end. I think he had four or five blocks for you. Yeah. No, he's Will's just an explosive jumper and has great timing on his blocks and. Uh, he was guarding our second best guy, and we were worried that it was going to take him out of that kind of defensive rotation, but he found a way to get back in there. Jack went out with pretty nice effort. I think he had 14 just in the second half. One of those situations, you just can't ask for much more from him. Oh, no, Jack, I mean, yeah, he, he, he's a consummate winner and uh, the heart and soul of this team. And, uh, you know, sometimes he tries to do carry the team on his shoulders a little too much and uh, it just, uh, you know, just, I give my congratulations to a, to a well-coached, patient, uh, skilled Wilson Central. So that you, you make sure to get Jack out the last three seconds, make sure he gets his, his standing ovation for the crowd. How much has he been for this, this basketball team over the past four years? He, he's the definitive all-time player for this program. Um, he just uh, lived and breathed basketball all his life, and uh, he's, he was able to achieve goals that very few kids of his limited size and, and, uh, and, and ability are able to, uh, to accomplish. I mean, I just can't imagine the team next year with the, uh, you know, his losing his his senior class is as devastating as, as the one we'll lose next year, and he's the only one in it. Losing big games is always tough, but when you lose one of your best players to a, a technical foul, it's got to be one of those just frustrating feelings. Was that a turning point then? I think it was. I think it was. I mean, we, we take out a kid like Sheldon who's just, you know, he hasn't played all years. He's only played like the last four or five games, and uh, he's just starting to hit his stride. And I'll be honest, hey, Cody is as. Um, mild-mannered and, and self-controlled kid in our program. It was a bad, horrible call. It was a clean block, and the referee made, just made a bad call, and Cody was a little frustrated with the early foul trouble with it, which I think may have been fouls, were fouls. That one wasn't a foul, and he just slammed the ball down and, and uh, took himself out of the game. How tough, tough is that losing? Oh, I mean, down the stretch, we're struggling to find something. Jack's going to hit a few, but they kind of put a glove on Asa, 
and if, and if we don't have that third weapon, the kid can stroke threes. And believe me, he would have. He's the kind of big game player that would have found, uh, you know, a way to get us some points. And just, uh, just put us behind the eight ball from that point on. What did you say to the team after the game? You know, there's nothing you can say other than this is going to hurt for a long time. And uh, at some point, you guys will realize what you achieved this year. And it was a remarkable season. Tied the record for the most wins, 26. And um, we we won a couple prestigious Christmas tournaments. I mean, we won Endsworth's tournament, and they ended up winning their winning the division, whatever they are. We uh, won the Hickman County, that's a great win. We won regular season, won the region, and we just it was unfortunate in terms of circumstances that uh, you know, we couldn't pull it off here tonight. Right.